Okay, guys, so here's what we're going to do today. This is on how to uh, put an informational page up on your e-commerce site. Uh, I hope this helps out. Um, I've done this actually three times because uh, something kept on screwing up for us. So I wanted to make sure I got it right and you got the information you really need uh, to do it right. So here we go. Um, let me start from here. And we're going to go to information from our catalogs, catalog to information. And uh, this is already done uh, because I did it as I was doing the video before. So what you're going to do is you're going to come up here and hit add new page. All right. So uh, what we're doing today is we're putting in a returns and refund policy. Um, what this is uh, for is if you're going to use Google Shopping, which is a great idea. You know, uh, we have a RSS feed that goes into Google. We have to set it up and you can pick the products you want up on Google and bam, it, it's done. Everything's done for you. Um, it's a fairly new program with them, um, but uh, this is take advantage of it. But you need this policy to get approved. It will not get approved without this policy. So um, then what you do after you put it, you add, add a new policy. This is going to pop up. And you're going to put this in there. In, in the informational title, you're going to put returns and refunds policy or whatever the page is. You know, you can add a page and do the same thing, but we're doing this page right now. And then uh, I copied this and pasted. Uh, they, they gave us this form um, so we could get this done. And um, I highlighted all these emails so nobody could say, hey, I can find it. You know how it is. And then uh, you put returns and refunds policy on the rest of these three, and you're all set. Uh, you come up here, uh, you hit data, and you want to put returns dash refunds dash policy. And if you click on this, you'll see it says don't do not use spaces. Instead, replace them with dashes and make sure the SEO URL is global unique and this would be global unique. What this is gonna be for is it's gonna say women's fashion online store.com slash returns dash uh, refunds dash policy. That'll be the URL. You wanna put it on the bottom and you want to in, make sure this is enabled. Uh, and the sort order is I'll show you that in the front end because it's easier to show you. Uh, but I already had four um, different pages on the on the footer, and I just added put a five here so that'll make it five. You come up here and you hit save. Don't forget to save it. Come back here. Here's your sorting order. I know they're not in a row in, in order of. Oh, doesn't matter. I think we go by spelling or something. Um, so we got one that's disabled about uh, about us. Two, and then this one I really didn't want this on the bottom. And then three, four, five. That's that's how it got sorted that way. All right. So um, after that, you know, basically after this, you have to come down. And uh, let's see, go to uh, journal, footer, double click on footer. You want to hit foot footer custom links. All right, so 
it wasn't there. You had to add one to make this return and refund policy. So what I did is I pushed this and this come up. You gotta make sure it's on. You put returns and, and refunds policy here and here. And then you come down here and hit information and whatever it's called, return. You know, when, when you make it up there in, in that other section, it'll be down, it'll be in the drop down. So make sure you double click it because it takes a little bit for it to come up. So, you know, if you click it once, nothing happens. That's why, you know. All right, so you pick, pick that one and you're all set. That's all you have to do, save. And if I were you, I would come down here, hit systems, tools, nitro backpack. I'm not backpack, back, nitro back. Clear cash. And you should be all set and it should look like this. So push it. There's return stash refund stash policy and there it is live on your site you're ready to go for Google all right guys I hope that helped you uh, let me know if it did let me know if you need something else write me a comment let me know what you need and uh, I appreciate you give us a thumbs up on this and I'll see you in the next video.